So guys, I am back with some more positive Megan McCain news. Can't y'all hear how excited I am? <laughs> I'm just excited to actually have found positive news to report to you about one of the ladies on the show. heard about this, but last week, more than 130 celebrities and entertainment executives penned an open letter calling on fellow stars, celebrities, uh, online influencers alike to stop spreading misinformation about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. President Biden calling for a ceasefire in the Middle East as the violence intensifies. The president facing pressure to act, telling Prime Minister Netanyahu he supports a ceasefire as the death toll rises. At least 200 Palestinians and 10 Israelis killed. Israel launching new airstrikes on tunnels in Gaza. Hamas firing over 3,000 rockets in the past week. Well, our very own Meghan McCain was one of those who signed her name to the pen letter. Now, this pen letter, and I'm going to read it to you because it's very short, it was published by the nonprofit entertainment organization, Creative Community for Peace. And I will tell you guys, it also encourages all of them, you know, to use their platforms uh, for de-escalation of violence and to help put a stop to divisive rhetoric. I think this is wonderful. So guys, here is the open letter that Megan signed. It says, we are deeply concerned about the escalating violence in Israel and the Palestinian territories. The loss of life and violence is heartbreaking. We call on the leaders of all parties to end the violence, urge calm, and work toward de-escalation. We also call on our colleagues and friends in the entertainment community to stop posting misinformation and one-sided narratives that only work to inflame the conflict instead of bringing about peace. While we may have differing opinions on the conflict, it is never okay for Hamas to publicly call for the killing of civilians, use civilians as human shields, and rain down missiles indiscriminately on civilian populations with no care about who is killed, Arab or Jew. When lives are at stake, we all bear responsibility to unite rather than divide. Incendiary language only benefits those at the extremes who have no interest in peace. Our thoughts are with all Israelis and Palestinians who are experiencing unfathomable levels of fear and violence and hope for the day when both peoples can live side by side in peace. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. This was a very short story, but I just had to share this with you guys. Again, as we said, no one, not me, not you, not Megan, none of us are all bad. Music